As part of this section, we will primarily talk about windowing functions. These are also known as analytic functions in databases like Oracle. We will start with preparing HR database. It will be used in multiple examples for multiple purposes. Then we will actually see overview of windowing functions. Then we will see how to perform aggregations using windowing functions. We will also see how to get lead and lag values how to get first and last values, how to use ranking within windowing functions, understanding order of execution of SQL, because it is very important for us to filter the data on top of the results which are generated using windowing functions. That's why we have to go through the order of execution of SQL. We will go through worry of nested subqueries, and then we will see how to filter data on top of window function results. So these are the topics which will be covered as part of this advanced section. You have to really focus and go through some of the fundamentals to understand the underlying concepts related to windowing functions. Unless and until you really understand these things, you will not be able to put them in practice. So go through these topics multiple times if you could not get all the concepts in one shot and try to do as many examples as you can so that you are really comfortable with windowing functions which are used quite extensively in a data warehouse type of data engineering projects. Before getting into topics related to this section, let's make sure to create this Spark object by using this simple Scala code. And also let's set Spark SQL Shuffle Partitions to 2. Otherwise it will be using 200 and as our data volumes are not very big, it can be overkill. Just set it to 2 and run this so that you see results a bit faster. But when it comes to your projects, you really need to go through the data volume and size and then you have to set this property to a optimal value depending upon your project requirement. Neither 2 is good nor 200 which is default is good.